Drag is simply a form of art. And like any form of art, it can be produced by many different kinds of people and be modified for different kinds of audiences. Good afternoon to the chair and committee. My name is Bridget Bandit, and I am speaking in opposition to SB 12 and SB 1601, which might be obvious. These laws would impact my ability to work with children simply because of how I am presenting and not actually what I am presenting. These bills discriminate against people based on sex and not the actual content of performances. The only reason this bill would affect me is that most people assume I am male under this costume and I receive the same kind of treatment as any other drag queen. However, the bill would not directly affect me with the way it currently defines drag as I am someone who is born female and does drag as a feminine person. Why should I be able to continue the same kinds of events with similar content and costumes, but not my male counterparts? This bill should be more concerned about the content of the performances rather than the sex or gender of the performance, performers. None of us want to have children at our drag shows at the gay bar at 11 p.m. on a Friday night, and there are already laws present, preventing that from happening, but we do want to continue our events like drag story times that are intentionally modified to be appropriate for children. Drag is simply a form of art, and like any form of art, it can be produced by many different kinds of people and be modified for different kinds of audiences.